Hey y'all, it's your old buddy Bobby Earl Waller, Southern Wizard, Hillbilly Mage. Welcome back to my single wide mobile palace and thanks for coming. Let's get into our science question for today. Since man discovered his ability to control fire, we have harnessed its power to benefit us in many ways. From scaring the beans out of each other around the campfire, to grilled cheese and tomato soup on a rainy Saturday, to moving goods and people across this great country aboard the first locomotives. We've tamed the flame in just about every way you can think of. But the magic of fire gets even more amazing than that. Heck, we get everything we need. Heat, energy, food, growth, because we're revolving around a giant ball of fire. But how does fire work? Well, it's a complicated reaction between oxygen and other molecules. Kids, ask your science teachers about it. It's super interesting. Here's something cool though. The candle's flame is hottest down around the bottom and it's a little smidge cooler up here where it's reddish or, or orange uh, yellow. Uh, look, if I take the spoon and run it through the top, look, we get soot. And if I run it near the bottom, check it out. A little bit of unspent wax, just like that. In Iraq, there's a phenomenon known as a natural gas vent. It's kind of like a giant fire pit that they call the eternal fire. It's been burning for over 4,000 years, and it's mentioned in the ancient writings of Herodotus, Plutarch, and even in the Old Testament book of Daniel. Now, all this got me wondering, if fire can do all these amazing things that we know about, what incredible things is fire capable of that we have yet to discover? Well, I did some experimenting using my own brand of Irish Hocus Pocus to see. Check it out. What's up, everybody? Check it out. Got this book of matches here. We'll uh, count them, okay? Here, count these matches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight matches. Eight matches in there. Look, take one out, right? Close cover before striking for safety. They are safety matches, just like that. We'll give it a little one of these and strike it. Boom. Ta -da. Now, this is kind of weird because what we do is we do something strange. If I put it here and squeeze it, something weird begins to happen. Look at that. Look. Ta -da. Look, check it out. Let's count the matches again. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight matches, just like that. And ta -da, the burnt one. And it is attached. It's actually attached to the thing, which is kind of weird, right? Kind of strange. All right, let's try something weird with the matchbook here that I think you'll kind of like. We'll put the matchbook down there. We'll do something weird. Look, look, I have this coin here. It is an American half dollar. Check it out. One American 50 cent piece. We're going to try something really weird here. This is kind of weird. Look, if we take the half dollar, we'll do something kind of strange. Look, look, watch. I squeeze it like this. Check it out. This is weird. Look. Look, check it out. Check it out. Look, look, look. look. Ta-da! Matches. Look. We'll count them again. Look. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and the eighth one is the burnt one there just like that check it out look 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 inside the matchbook here we'll find something a little bit strange look at that look look da -da, da -da. half dollar da -da. kind of weird right <laughs> kind of strange <laughs> so what did we learn out the back today what amazing and life-changing wonders might we soon discover that fire will bring us well who knows i can't wait to find out though maybe uh I'll find a way to keep mom off Amazon. I mean, uh, money is, uh, you know, burning a hole in her pocket all the time, <sighs> which is kind of weird, I guess. <laughs> if you like this uh, episode, please drop a like, uh, hit the subscribe button and the little gray bell, and uh, share it everywhere. I love you more than a $5 pair of sunglasses that actually turns out to be pretty good. Take it easy.